Hi guys, Momer here. Welcome back to the channel and finally the Targon expansion got released so we are immediately gonna jump into the deck building uh, and we have a new deck uh, which is the Abradion Soul Control which we're gonna try. So the deck plan is pretty simple, we just want to uh, play the Real Soul and cheat him out as soon as possible. So we have two things to do for, for this to happen. We have to survive until the late game, so we are a control, we run stuff like Avalanche. And uh, we could even go for uh, more like uh, board wipes, uh, uh, like uh, the Ice Quake, uh, but I, I find that it is uh, pretty weak. Uh, and the Sky's Descent is much stronger, so we also run that, uh, although this needs synergy, and it is more like a... Okay. Win more card, but it could happen. Like you play in Violus Vox, um, more on that later. But you play in Violus Vox, this generates a bunch of dragons, or even uh, uh, like uh, with the build the infinite uh, cheap uh, uh, celestials, uh, and then you can activate the skies descend. Uh, and it's basically a stronger ruination uh, when you play the when you actually got to play the skies descend. It's basically a good game for, for any deck. So yeah, pretty strong board clear. Uh, but then also we want to ramp because we want to cheat him out as soon as possible. Uh, so we have Catalyst of Eons, Weeding Stones, uh, and uh, Faces of the Old Ones, uh, whatever we can to ramp out uh, as soon as possible. And also Herald of the Dragons, uh, which uh, uh, discounts actually Arion Vox, Arion Sip, yeah, uh, Arion Soul. Um, and yeah, that's uh, also we have Brom, because it's a very great tool to defend early on, but I kind of want to experiment also with Trundle, this with Trundle. Uh, we also get more uh, build activations for the, um, the faces of the old, old ones, and overall Trundle is a very nice defensive body, probably better than Brom. It is much more a deterrent uh, to attacks. But yeah, let's go for Brom anyway and uh, try it out. Also we have uh, some early game to survive because we actually need to go to the late game, as I said. Kind of Time and Keeper, Icebell Archer, and Avaros and Sentry, nice body and also our refill, which we need. And uh, also one last thought on Dragon's Clutch. Uh, this is very, very strong, because it says draw two different dragons. So if we only run two, which we do, in Violos Vox and Aurelion Soul, then this is a guaranteed tutor for Aurelion Soul, which is insane. I guess that this card is probably be nerfed to draw two dragons. Uh, so this means that this will still be very consistent, but at least we have the chance to get a, a double of Inviolus Box, for example, and not play the Aurelion Soul, not get the Aurelion Soul, which is kind of... Kinda, um, uh, uh, happening uh, most of the times uh, because you have 50% chance to to get one of these uh, and then a further uh, somewhat like 50% to to get another uh, in Bulls box so it's um, a bit like one fourth of the times you get a double in Bulls box which is a, a pretty good nerf uh, now it's guaranteed so definitely very very strong anyway let's try this out okay as you can see last season uh, we were into master uh, and we're up against a Lulu with dark Order. The name is Daravel, okay, so let's see, we get uh, Faces of the Old Ones uh, with the Skies Descend, so probably we want to keep that just to activate the Behold off of these, uh, and then we can on turn 3 play Brom already. He is probably running the Nine, so this is uh, also something to, con to take into consideration. I kinda like keeping anyway Reading Stones, uh, it doesn't have ways to interact uh, with our ramp. Uh, he's probably aggressive though, but we have Brom for that, so yeah, so this seems like a full keep. Now if I'm gonna draw Arion Soul, uh, then I'm pretty much regretting uh, getting the Sky's Descent. But the second face of the ones is very very strong. Okay, this is uh, a very bad card. Very very bad card. I don't know why he's trying uh, that. Okay, as you can see we already have our tutor for uh, our Arion Soul. I'm gonna uh, most of the time say a on box <laughs> because uh, uh, it's pretty similar box to soul and also it this draws uh, both of them so yeah it's okay okay now it's gonna I don't know probably support this with that uh, get four damage in okay, okay now this is a bit threatening but we probably want to brom this yeah I probably want to brom this and uh, this can stop four damage this is very strong Brom on turn 3 is very very strong. And then we have 5 mana so we can, on our attacking turns, we can just ramp. So go for faces of the one, 2 faces of the old ones. And still have mana 
to deal something else, probably. Not really, because we will have two mana. Okay, so he's thinking what he should do. I will probably go... He's passing. Wow. This is very, very bad. He should have at least attacked with this and that, uh, giving uh, Overwhelm. Okay, but maybe he doesn't want to spawn the 3-3. But yeah, still, then you are uh, further away from your Lulu level up. Uh, yeah, this is probably a bad play. Okay, let's go for a double missile to once. Uh, then we just need to draw our own soul with this, uh, and we basically won. This is a really good game. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Very fast game. We'll definitely play another one. Okay, yeah, so the first. Oh, we are up against a uh, diamond, I guess. Uh, by the way, the first game was very, very uh, fast, so let's uh, let's hope that this takes a bit longer. So we are up against a mirror match, basically. Uh, so it is uh, even more important to get a Dragon Soul as fast as we possibly can. So we already have a Dragon Soul in hand, so we probably don't want the Dragon's Clutch. Or maybe we could keep the Dragon's Clutch and instead... Uh, yeah, but we want to get this uh, uh, online as fast as possible. So probably we don't want to run the Dragon's Clutch. Yeah, I think. Uh, this is a ramp, this is a ramp. Uh, and this is a deactivator for uh, this. So yeah, let's go for this. He's attacking. Okay, and Yolo's box as well. So yeah, no need for the Dragon's Clutch. Another Catalyst of Eons. Uh, this is okay. Could be okay. So now, how do you want to go about this? We have one mana. Next turn, we will have two. The turn after, we are at four basically, because uh, with mana spells as well. So yeah, you can't go into Face of the Old Ones, into Catalyst of Eons, but still. I guess uh, we get more mana spell. Let's look at it this way. Let's see if we get another one, maybe. Okay, Asphalt Archer. Nice tool to defend against this Randall when he's coming down on, or when he will get Overwhelm, which is much more threatening. Okay, in those regions he doesn't have ways to interact with this, which is very strong. Okay, second array on soul. This is a bit bad. Oh, now we can go into Catalyst of Eons. Yeah, because also you get every turn one man. Wow, this, this is insane. This is an insane start. Basically, on turn 3 you get already Day one more man. This is way. very, very strong. Yeah, let's uh, let him take the attack uh, and then we are gonna heal more. Shines. And yeah, definitely, wow, this is very, very strong. Then next turn, we're gonna have seven, I guess. So yeah, we are, we are already very, very close to casting Arian Soul. Six, okay, that's fine. I don't know, man, I, I want to be greedy and play Weirding Stones. Although uh, an Inviolus Vox this early can, al can also hurt. And also this is needed to level up uh, the Arian Soul. I don't know, I don't know, man. Let's probably go all ramp. The first one that gets to play the Rion Soul wins in this uh, in this matchup. So yeah, then we also keep mana spell to then cast the uh, Catalyst of Eons and basically say good game. Meteor Shower. Okay, okay. That's interesting. Kind of expensive though. Okay, so he had a way to interact with our board. Get Randall coming. So now he's at 5. 6 we're gonna be attacking. If he has a, a, a ramp, he could play the next turn when he has a, the attack back, the Ice Peeler. So I kinda want to take the damage right now. Uh, we also have 10 mana, so we can go to, into Brom. So yeah, this, this, is, this is a blo good block. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, so now he can't really attack. This is a raid another time in the game, even in the control mirror. Yeah. Let's go for Catalyst of Eons as well. Unfortunately, we don't get the full heal, but we don't really matter about uh, L total uh, against uh, a control mirror. I don't know why he did the attack. This is a bad play. Bad, bad play. We, we get uh, value on the Brom, uh, we summon us uh, one stuff, yeah. Okay. Now we probably want to go into Inviolus Vox. Take the attack. Unfortunately, Trundle 
he's not gonna allow this. Or maybe we could, uh, like, yeah, we challenge him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, this is so strong. In just a second, uh, yeah, I kinda get why he's running a Solari Priestess. I, I went with uh, the same mistake, but uh, the, the thing is that you don't get a 4, 5, and 6 mana card. You just get the, uh, out the dome, those out of the pool of 4, 5, and 6 Celestial uh, mana cards. So, uh, and I wanted to run that uh, because of the 4 mana a spell. Uh, which uh, draws a champion and reduces its cost uh, to further, uh, again, discount the real soul and have another way to get him more consistently. But yeah, it simply doesn't work. Because uh, it is too much uh, RNG reliant. And also I read something that uh, the mana, uh, the, the spell cards are uh, harder to get uh, off of that. So okay, Brom is also very close to leveling up. No? We got a dragon. Arrow of the Dragons coming uh, down. And then we play Aurelia of the Soul, and he's uh, leveled up. No? Yep. He will level up. If he doesn't remove uh, something. Also, the Brom synergy here is that this will summon more stats for the Aurelia Soul to level up. This is a perfect level up, by the way. This is very, very strong. But this combination could actually work most of the times. Because uh, you're gonna get an Inviolus box most of the times, and you're gonna get an attack with that. The 3 3 will be summoned by Brom, and you just need one more attack, which is probably the Red of the Red most just of the times. Okay, this is just a, a, a worst version of our Living Legends. This is, okay. this is insane, man. We already won. We already won. This is turn 8, and we win. Turn 8, and we win the game. This is simply insane, man. Insane. This deck is so strong. There is no way that this deck doesn't uh, get nerfed. Within the stars, yeah. I'll protect you. I do love an audience. Oh, really, I don't have words. This is too strong. We go Return on the stars. Free. And we got a Brom. Get him, get him plus two plus two and. Uh, yeah, then uh, probably first Living Legends, but yeah, anyway, Living Legends, let's go. What is this? Supernova, obliterate three enemies, yeah, sure, let's go, let's kill this. Then what's, what we have still? The Scourge, the Destroyer, the Serpent is a good guy. But yeah, now, now what are we gonna do? This is also obliterate, by the way. So stuff like three in the mirror, obliterated. Brom? Okay, not so close to level up. Solari Shield Beer. Man, I don't think that that is gonna help you against this. Yeah, let's go, let's go. The Scourge. But then remember that there is still the Sky's Descent. You, you can even build a board. Then we just go to the Sky's Descent. Okay, following a comment. That, that's fine, that's fine. But what you're gonna do about the Destroyer then? With Spell Shield. And 11-7, because we played four Celestials. Oh man, this, this is insane, man. I don't have words, really. I'm probably gonna play the Serpent just to further discount the Aurelion Soul, the Sky's Descend. Our mountain groves are full of dangers, yeah, man, I don't I know think that is gonna help you. Purge them brawn, I'm afraid. We are basically calling that we have the Sky's Descend, but still. And we probably have the opening, at the, the, the winning open attack anyway. Let's go for this. Five mana, destroy your wall opponent's board. Yeah, good game. This is insane. Please let me. Come on, come on man. Let me get the open attack with the Real Soul. I know that I was PMing with the Sky's Descend, but come on. Come on, man, please. But uh, yeah, anyway, good game. So yeah, guys, I think that it is clear that this deck is nuts. This deck is insane. I'm gonna rank with it. It's a bit slow for ranking, so probably I'm gonna uh, get something else to climb faster. But anyway, this is like 100% win rate. This is insane, man. Insane. I, I don't have any words for that. I think that this, is, this will be definitely get nerfed, like in one week. 
that's that's even uh, too late. Probably even tomorrow we're gonna get uh, a nerf. Because yeah, maybe I'm exaggerating, but this deck is nuts. We haven't yet to see the hyper aggro uh, matchup, uh, which is probably the only thing that, uh, that keeps this deck at bait. But still, I don't think so, because if we get Avalanche, we have a really good matchup against that type of matchup anyway. If we get the Avalanche, we just have to mul Art Mulligan for Avalanche in those type of matchups. But yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you liked it and find it useful. And as always, see ya!